আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়েলকাম টু অ্যান্টেনা ডিজাইন ইউজিং সিএসটি টিউটোরিয়াল টুডে আই উইল ডিসকাস রিগার্ডিং হাউ টু ট্রান্সফর্ম এ সিঙ্গেল অ্যান্টেনা ইন্টু এ মিমো অ্যান্টেনা সো লেটস বিগিন So this is a single antenna I have already designed. I'll discuss how we can transform this antenna into a MIMO antenna. So to do so, the process is very simple. Uh, at first, we need to uh, increase the width of the substrate. Here you can use, uh, use the value as by requirement. I would like to increase the width of the substrate by some factors here. So here you see the width of the substrate is increased. You can use the value as per requirement. After that, we need to select the patch and uh, we need to click right button on the patch and select transform option here. So in this option here we see there are some other options to scale, rotate, mirror, etc. Today I will mainly discuss on translate and rotate operation. Uh, in my later videos, videos I will discuss regarding scaling and mirror operation. So for translate this antenna into a MIMO antenna, what we need to do? We need to uh, Select the repetition factor. Suppose I'd like to repeat this antenna twice in the right hand side now. So for this, I'll need to select two here for repetition factor. And uh, here is the translation factor. This is very important because this will determine uh, how um, the distance between the two antenna. Let's see the preview. Here it is. Uh, we have to need to select the copy option don't forget to select copy otherwise um, this antenna will move there so let's see the preview here is the preview you can uh, check this option uh, if we select three we'll see that this antennas will be overlapped this is due, due to the fact that from the center point of this antenna to the edge this edge the distance is about 3.84 so if we select three it will overlap so we need to select uh, suitable values in translation vector. So let's see the preview. Here is the preview. So here the task is very simple now. Just click on apply and click OK. So here we see the three uh, and patch are already created here. If we want to create the same and two patches in uh, left hand side. So for this, we again need, need to go to transform option. And after that, we need to select the translate factor two and translation vector here, we need to select minus six and uh, don't forget to select copy. And after that, to see the preview. Uh, it is encouraged to see always see the preview before, before doing the action be, because if you want to select this and do the tax and it will include in the history. So for deleting the tax, you need to modify in the history that is very laborious work. So I suggest uh, you to see the preview first and then uh, click on OK. Apply and click on OK. So here is if we check the component, here is the five components patch one, patch two, patch three, patch four, and the patch itself. So after that, I would like to uh, rotate the, this patch. So what we need to do here, we need to go to transform again, then select rotate. After that, you need to select the repetition factor here. 
and rotation angle i would like to select the rotation angle 180 don't uh, if you want to rotate this antenna so don't click on copy if you copy it it will create a new antenna and you it, it, that will be created and moved so here are some other factors to uh, you need to consider that is uh, if uh, at, at first we see the preview where it is so here is the preview we see that the antenna is moved but not uh, on the same surface not on the substrate so what you need to do you need to select give the height of this antenna so this antenna will automatically uh, move on the same uh, substrate so for this you need to know the height of the of your ground as well as patch here we use the substrate of 0.8 millimeter thickness and uh, um, patch of and the ground of 0 0.018 so the total height is 0 0.818 so let's see the preview in that case hope i hope the antenna is on the same place uh, so our tux is almost done then we need to do is that select apply click on apply and click ok so here is our patch it is already rotated so let's see the components together here you see the uh, patch is uh, rotated in another direction uh, if we like to move this uh, patch or rotate this patch we need to do the same for this patch too so let's do it uh, for this select patch tree and go to transform and you need to all you need to do is to select rotate and uh, don't select copy okay and rotation angle 180 of course and uh, place the value of the height of the ground as well as um, on the substrate so let's see the preview uh, so here you see it's rotated and hopefully as we provide the height hopefully it is rotated in the same plane so um, select just apply and okay so here we see this way we can create the memo antennas and uh, we need uh, remember that we need to use separate acceleration for each antenna so as we already know the one acceleration is provided in this antenna that is port one here you see this port is provided in this antenna so we need to provide other ports uh, so uh, let us do it for patch tree so select patch tree and after that what we need to do is um, we need to select the uh, face of this antenna so for this we need to uh, rotate this antenna uh, as for our comfort zone after that we need to select the pick page of op option so go to modeling and select pick space here and after that select the face of this antenna and as usual um, we need to provide the ports for this you need to go to macros and in macros we see construct construct Solver for
so for this you need to go to macros and select solver and go to ports calculate port extension coefficient and here we see the data is already available here just con calculate and construct port from the picked page after that you just click on close it so here we see uh, two ports uh, ports are created port two is here so port one is here so two ports are created in this way for creating new antenna you need to uh, provide acceleration in each antenna and you need to provide ports in each antenna hopefully by this way you can transfer any antenna into a MIMO antenna there are more complicated uh, structures of MIMO antenna for this i will try to provide more updated video thank you thank you for watching and uh, stay connected